but uh, after queen g5, well, I have to do this because I think the knight is needed here. Uh, yeah, exactly. Knight b4, bishop h3, and bishop f1. There's a rook takes b4 tactic. Uh, he took, and again, slightly confused. I mean, if I want to play f3, I might be able to do it here. Um, so I'm not completely sure what I was thinking here. Anyway, I went bishop f1, um, partly because I'd seen a draw, but maybe this is the one moment where f3 and... I don't know, maybe I can almost hope for something with uh, taking, but I simply don't know. Uh, everything went by very fast. Um, of course, I had time, but I was very nervous, so it was difficult to stop playing. Knight f6, and here I should have taken a draw, which I think with my knight e4 and uh, bringing the knight to c2 and defending well, uh, I think it's not an undeserved draw if I take this. Um, he takes bishop g2, bishop g2, f3, knight e3, and it's a draw. Uh, because my queen gets in. And I mean, once I take his d6 pawn or something, so if he goes rook c7, queen d6, well, white is never going to have a problem. And if he goes fg2, uh, no, sorry, if he goes knight g4, then I thought check and put the queen there and it should be a draw. I didn't see a win, but uh, because somehow I can't really, um, I mean, he has to go back. Uh, I check, he comes back, but I didn't see uh, a way to win. But hereabouts, I almost got greedy, and having regretted the move that I missed two moves earlier, I decided to play f3, but I think in combination with bishop f1, it's really not so good. Bishop f1, he went e4, I think. f3, f e4, and... Rook e7. And here I understood I had just made a mistake because I assumed the knight was coming to f3. But uh, there's something that I missed. Um, I can't remember specifically what. Maybe it's rook takes b4 and some uh, knight e4 check line. But um, it actually turned out to be something simple. Uh, hang on, I can figure it out. I think queen d4 takes, takes, f3, check, king, f7, and I'm not in time with anything. So uh, I think that was the problem. But still, I wasn't too worried because I saw the tactic I went for. Um, and queen d3. He went bishop f5, and I went knight e6. Okay, he was down to seconds. He had 30 seconds. So it's just a question of whether you see it or not. And I thought, well, knight g3, I, I didn't see a defense. I thought it was just lost. Um, knight g5, rook e1. So, um, I don't know if queen f3, but it, I, d I don't think it can hold. And, uh, yeah. So, obviously, rook takes b4 was better, but now it was his turn to blunder. Okay, he was down to seconds, and I, you either see the idea or you don't. And the other problem is, I think, it's very confusing with the variations, because if the rook was on e5, and he goes knight g3, then rook e5 might even win for white. So, if you have been calculating all these variations in the head with your rook coming to e5, something similar happened to me. Because when, when I went knight e6, I saw knight g3, I thought, no, 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 I've got rook e5. So maybe <laughs> something similar uh, flashed by his head as well, that uh, there's a rook on e5. But on e7, it's fine. He might have missed it for the same reason, that uh, you calculate rook e6, d6, rook e5. And then whenever you see this idea, you forget. Um, I can only speculate. Um, and here I'm winning. I assume rook b6 was simpler than um, queen d4. Um, but even here, there was it, it turned out to be not trivial. I forget what. I think maybe rookie six. Um, so I decided to go for this. F3, GF, knight G5 takes knight F3, and I'm guessing King H1 won much easier because if knight D4, E7, Queen A8, check, wait, simply plays Bishop G2. It doesn't change anything. And if knight e5, then the king is much better over here. I saw a simple win, so I decided just to go for it. And then I realized that I really messed something up. And the problem was rook b6, bishop e6. My original idea was queen d6 winning, uh, or rook d6 winning. But both run into the same problem, which is, I think, check, 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 queen f1. And... Uh, I can't take was a queen a1 check, and th th what, I'm, what I really missed was that there's no mate. 
be a checking H7 or something. There's nothing going on. And if I go check, check, uh, again a miracle here is knight d7. So, uh, by this point I started, I mean, I, I couldn't see a single move that uh, didn't get into this perpetual check mechanism. So, I almost worried that I'd blown it again. But luckily I came up with bishop e2 and I, I think it does the job. So, um, I didn't see any practical way for him to defend in the long term. So, it, it seems that with bishop e2 I win. The king h1 would have been easier and probably there was something, but um, it was complicated. Uh, Fishy, you started with uh, nine draws. It's not uh, your usual way of starting the tournament here. What went wrong? Uh, I mean, it's not your standard. Well, it's not. Um, sometimes I started late here in this tournament. Um, if you remember in um, 2008, I didn't win my first game till round seven. And then it was really a lucky break. So, um, against Judith. So, otherwise, I was on minus one uh, after round seven. Uh, in 2001, I didn't win my second game till round 11. So, I've had these streaks, but of course, uh, I have more memories of. Uh, <laughs> Sort of interesting games in Waikanze with uh, some decisive results, but um, it, it just isn't working out. But um, uh, I mean, t today I was ridiculously lucky. That's clear. But um, I mean, I was trying many games, but somehow you, you just don't get the right position. So. Okay. <laughs> Any questions from you guys? If I knew, I would get them. <laughs> what can I say, Hurt? I mean, uh, sometimes you just don't, nothing happens. You get the wrong kind of position and it doesn't work out. Um, I don't know why. It's not in your opening repertoire because of the upcoming uh, World Championship match. Maybe you get I think it's, well, it's obviously, uh, it's quite convenient to blame everything on the poor World Championship. But uh, actually, I think um, when you're playing well, you, you get chances. But... Um, I wouldn't say I'm really holding things back or something, but maybe I'm um, somehow the focus is also half there. Or maybe your thoughts are there. I don't know. Anyway, it's better not to make excuses. Um, I mean, I'm I'm really trying. It's not like I came here to uh, just um, get some practice or something. I'm really trying, and um, yeah, it just takes a while. Okay. Yeah. Can you uh, elaborate on what you meant when you said that? Uh, you, you knew you should take time, but you were nervous, so you couldn't stop playing? Um, yeah, sometimes when, um, even when you're thinking, you're so nervous that you're not really making much progress with your thinking, then it's better to just at least make a move. But um, obviously the right thing to do is just, uh, just force yourself to stop. But there was a moment there where, uh, especially um, when I saw, when I just blundered E4, uh, Fe4, Rook E7, and then I suddenly saw Knight D4, and you was just very excited, and you make some moves. Though I had 40 minutes or something, so I could easily have stopped. I mean, in the end, it turned out to be decisive, because the time I stop and think, he can also stop and think, and then once he finds uh, Knight G3, it's over. So maybe it was good that we blundered like this, but... Uh, uh, okay, sometimes your emotions get the better of you. I understand it shouldn't happen, but it happens. Mm -hmm.